Hello, happy morning to all my lovely students there. How are you students? I hope you are taking care of your health and you are ready for your examinations. Students, can I ask you one thing? Okay, if you want to communicate with your friend who is staying in Ahmedabad or out of the state, then what do you do? Exactly, you drop a message or you just dial it up. But just imagine what could be the situation without phones, chatting, messages, how they used to communicate. They used to write the letters. They used to communicate with the help of the letters. For example, if I need to invite someone on 25th, so I will be writing a letter on 1st, I will be posting it and after 20 days, that person will get that letter. The post, the courier services were very slow. But now, everything is instant. So students, today in this video, we will be starting with our new chapter. That is chapter number 15. Communicating through writing. In previous days and now also, if we want to communicate, we use the letters. But do you know who invented these letters? What is the history behind our alphabets, numericals, numbers and many more things? There are many questions in your mind. All answers will be in this chapter. Let's move. On page number 92 of your textbook. Please open your textbook my dear students. Chapter number 15. Communicating through writing. Communicating through writing. Writing. Knowledge is gained with the help of books, newspapers, magazines and discussions. It is to be shared. We share knowledge with our friends, relatives, teachers and they enrich it by adding some more points to it. This is how we all grow to become knowledgeable and wise. Students, what is knowledge? We have something. What, when we, how get it? We receive this knowledge by reading books, by reading knowledge magazines, by a healthy and a good discussion. How many knowledge ka se milta hai? Reading karne se, bhoat baat ko educated movie dekhne se, by reading documentaries, watching documentaries and many more things. Sometimes, aap apne teachers, apne friends, apne relatives ke saath discussion karte hai. This is added up to your Knowledge. You will be surprised to know that in ancient India, knowledge was passed on orally from generation to generation. In ancient India, when writing ka invention nahi hua tha, jab written words were not invented, the knowledge was passed from generation to generation by oral, verbally. आपको थोड़ा शौक लगेगा कि इतना सारा नॉलेज ओरली पास ऑन होता था देन स्लोली एंड ग्रेजुअली वी स्टार्टेड मेकिंग पिक्चर्स सिंबल्स एंड देन आफ्टरवर्ड्स अल्फाबेट्स वर इन्वेंटेड इट वाज शेयर्ड बट व्हेन फ्यू पीपल एज अ रिजल्ट नॉलेज वाज एट टाइम्स लॉस्ट स्लो when I share my knowledge by orally, it is applicable to some group of the people only. Agar main kuch oral bata di hu, to usi area ke logo tak wo knowledge rahegi. So, wo knowledge wo time lost thi. Maine aaj bola, maybe orally ho to aap bhool bhi sakte ho. Right? But, fir wo knowledge lose hoti ke. Dheere dheere we started towards our inventions. Slowly, humans developed symbols that looked like pictures of animals and objects. These were used to communicate. Early humans lived in caves and so drew pictures on walls of these caves. Drawings on walls of caves have been unearthed in India, France and other countries. 
so slowly and gradually the humans started drawing the symbols which look like animals they started to carve that picture on the wall you can see ajanta and elola caves uske andar pictures ke puri kahani depict ki jaati hai trees that show that symbols were used for expression The symbol slowly gave way to scripts or a method of writing. This is how languages came into being. About five thousand. Slowly and gradually, the symbols turn out to be writing words. That means script. You can see on textbook page number ninety-two. The symbols slowly gave way to scripts or a method of writing. This is how the language came into being. Thousand years ago, the Sumerian of Mesopotamia, now Iraq, were the first to develop a script. They used signs. They wrote them on clay blocks. Egyptian scripts used pictures and symbols. Such scripts are called hieroglyphics. Other things. Please open the textbook. You need to mark two to three sentences. About five hundred years ago, the Sumerian of Mesopotamia, now Iraq, were the first to develop the script. Who were the first to develop the script? This is one marker question. Please underline that line. They used sign. What was the first symbol used by them? Signs were there. They wrote them on the clay block. On what they wrote? They wrote on the clay block. Egyptians script used pictures and symbol. Dash used pictures and symbols. You need to answer that. This is also one marker. Similar examples include Chinese and Japanese scripts. That are also based on pictures and symbols. Pictorial symbols were developed as letters were born. The best examples of this. Pictorial symbols means we use pictures. On the basis of the pictures, some alphabets and some letters were invented, or I can say formed. The best example of pictures that is in this very civilization. Is that of the script of Indus Valley civilization? Historians and language experts are trying hard to decipher the script to know more about this civilization. The Brahmi script. The Brahmi script was developed in India about two thousand. When was Brahmi script developed? Brahmi script developed two thousand years ago. Thousand years ago. Most of our Indian scripts have developed. From these scripts, in there is written in Devanagari script. In, in which language in these written? In these written in Devanagari script. Okay, students. So students, today in this video, we come to know how knowledge is passed from generation to generation, and what were the slowly formation of our letters. Let's move to Persian. So students, this is your worksheet part. Let's fill it up quickly, filling the blanks. The symbols slowly gave way to dash or a method of writing. Second, dash was the first to develop the script. Third, dash script used pictures and symbols. Last blank, dash were developed and letters were born. Your question number two: Answer the following. When was Brahmic script developed or formed? Name the people who were the first to develop the script. So, students, this is your worksheet. Please jot it down this worksheet in your notebook. Take care of your health. Bye, students. God bless you.